today I'm going to be take, addressing an issue with this TIAC model A40 tennis. A common problem with this reel-to-reel -reel is the snubber capacitors. These capacitors tend to explode, uh, which is really not something you want to have to clean up. So before that happens, I'm going to go ahead and replace all of them in this unit. Now inside the front panel there are four of these snubber capacitors. You'll notice I have a piece of cardboard over the belt. Um, the belt in this unit is intact and it feels okay to me. So for the time being I'm going to keep it as is. Uh, all the other mechanical mechanisms seem to be working just fine, which really surprised me. Um, anyway, here's the first four pulled out of the front panel. Now I'm looking at this board on the back which has one snubber capacitor and also two filtering capacitors. Now I'm going to go ahead and change all three of these while I've got the unit open. And here are the three off of that board. These cans are now so much smaller. This is one of the cans that was replaced. <laughs> and see how much smaller it is. Yeah, same value. Um, just crazy. Got these unscrewed from the back. These are the motor capacitors for these three motors. Um, so this is a 1 and a 2.8. Couldn't find a 2.8, so I'm using a 3. Um, and this is two threes and two watts. So, yeah, I was able to find the threes. The funny thing is, since they don't make these cans anymore, I had to sort of make my own. What I did is I tied a three to a one for each, and I'm going to have to use this to bolt it to the back. And I have my common here, and then this is the lead for the one, and this is the lead for the three. <laughs> so doesn't look great, but don't laugh too hard because it's secure. And uh, if you've done anything like this, I'm sure you know that uh, you either pay extra money for one that looks pretty, or you get the one that's not expensive, but looks funky. As you can see, uh, zip ties are my main jam on this guy.
And that's all I'm planning to do for the uh, electrical work on the upper part of this deck. I'm still planning to maybe change the um, additional filtering capacitors that are housed in the amplifier, but I'm not sure when I'm going to do that because I don't have the units on hand. So I'm just cleaning the switches and closing it back up. Here are all the old parts that I swapped out for new parts. None of these are in the audio circuit, they just ensure the mechanics can function properly. And I left in the part where I tried to figure out how to uh, wind the tape because it is a struggle and it's kind of funny to me at least maybe it will be to you that's a good feeling to you that way you have no idea how long this took. Uh, first I'll show you some pre-recorded music. Here's a little demo with a Casio keyboard. Well, that was my journey with the TIAC A4010S. Uh, hopefully, I don't have to open it back up for a long time. It's definitely my uh, proudest <laughs> repair achievement so far. So, anyway, thanks for tuning in.